Hey guys, got here with some more post-commentary duels. Today I'm fighting SKSA, who you might know as that one guy with the Moonlight Greatsword. He's, uh, he's, the, he's the player who solely showed me that uh, the Karthus can be beaten by a Greatsword, so I actually had to adapt and switch up my shit just for him. So he's extremely good with the Greatsword, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be using other things because I've kind of learned how to counter that shit now, but we'll see how it goes. So he's using a Lothric Knight Spear, or I'm sorry, a Lothric Long Spear. Um, I decided to stick with the washing pole, or washing pole because he is going for uh, he's going for pokes, so I need to also go for pokes. The spear is too quick. Um, parrying him is unreliable since I don't like using medium shields. And honestly, the washing pole running our one poke and the one-handed R two are the only uh, only really safe moves to do against this. And even then, it's kind of risky. So I have to definitely rely on that a lot. It is the best part about the weapon. So. Thing is, I can't actually get in range and do an R1, like, even right there. I couldn't actually get in range and finish the attack because the spear attacks so quickly. That was incredible spacing, by the way. Um, the spear attacks so quickly that I, I won't actually be able to get that off. So he switches over to a Black Knight Glaive now, which is a bit more of a problem. Then he switches to a Greatsword, which I've... I don't know. I, I With the Karthus, I've def I definitely struggle with it. I tend to just run into his hyper armor attacks, but um, it's not as bad to deal with with the washing pole. That is like the motto for a lot of things. I just didn't roll there for some reason. Just a fucked up input or something. Uh, he didn't even think he was going to hit me, so he didn't uh, combo his attack. But that was still my fault. So he sees that's not working, switches over to Goddard's. Now Goddard's counters uh, washing pole pretty decently, so I need to stop using that. Here I attack four times in a row, like that's that one method I talked about where people don't assume you're going to be that stupid and attack that many times in a row. So he kept mashing R1 after my R1s, and he knows the washing bolt is in combo, so he just kept standing there, and he did not expect that at all. So I switched back to Karthus now because it's much better to deal with uh, Goddard's with Karthus. So it's still a kind of an even matchup in my mind. Uh, the rolling L1 can counter hit really bad. And um, SK is from Europe too, so even if I miss... Um, I mean, e like you see, even if I even if I swing first, he still gets his attack off due to higher latency. So, hyper armor and uh, counter hits with the Goddards are really hard to deal with. Unfortunately, that was a strange slowdown. Sorry about that. Um, it's definitely uh, it's definitely a pain in the ass. But what the hell's happened in my video? There we go. Jeez. So he switches to a washing pole to try to finish me off. I switch to a washing pole to counter his washing pole. And uh, it's going to be a running R1 battle because that's the only safe way to end it. And I take the first one because I just happened to time it more fortuitously. When it comes down to two washing pole running R1s, that's basically what it comes down to. The startup is so quick, you just kind of have to predict when the other guy is going to start swinging. So I got lucky there and uh, ended up working out. Sorry about that slowdown. I don't know what that was. It's weird. Round two. Start off with Karthus. I don't know what he's going to use, but I mean, that's always the default weapon I have out, obviously, because it can counter. Uh, it can counter most things. I struggle against like um, Hulbrids and um, Washing Pole and Goddards and things like that. Um, but uh, and Greatswords for that matter. But I've heard other people have no problem using Karthus against Greatswords. So here we're both having a, a Washing Pole battle, and it's not all about the running our ones. Running our ones are by far the uh, the best initiation tool, like to uh, start the aggression. But um, that that's not all it has, and I'm all about using only our ones with shit. But I mean, even this um, rolling our ones and L2 R ones are actually really useful. Um, they definitely do work. There I swap, which is very very hard to swap against the Washing Pole. You have to swap so fast. That was extremely good spacing on his end. That was uh. Like, look at that. That is uh, pretty much as good as you can get. The sparks are basically touching his feet. That's pretty much perfect. So that was really nice. I did a running R1 because I didn't think he'd expect it. There, see, I swapped, and again, I, I got I got hit for it. Swapping against the washing pole is very, very scary. Tried to roll catch him there, but it did not work. He knows to delay his R1, so very, very hard to deal with that shit. But yeah, washing poles tend to come down to people uh, doing running R1s. If one of them misses, the other one tries to do a regular R1 to punish it. If they both miss, you reset. That's how washing pole battles go. Or, you know, washing pole battles between two people that know how disgustingly powerful the washing pole actually is. I almost get hit there because I was uh, one-handing. He pushed me in the corner there and I got really scared. This is a much smaller arena than I'm used to. and uh, You can get pressured very easily in this uh, in this type of uh, this type of arena, so it's it's very scary to deal with. We're both just running back and forth because we don't know who's going to start the rolling or, or the running R1 first. And uh, it's so damn fast that you just can't, you can't predict it sometimes. That was, that was some good old Europe latency there. It was behind him, but that shit happens. Um, 
I mean, it's just he did he did a buffering running attack there, which is smart. Um, he did, like it's when you do a running attack, buffer it, and then run attack again almost immediately. Definitely a very smart thing to do. So we're still about neck and neck. I just barely miss him, and he has the confidence to R1 out of it, but the recovery is so low that I can still roll away. Me and SK never do not have really close fights, like, every single time. That was a really risky rolling R1 I just did there. But I figured he was going to go for either an R1 or an L2 R1. So, um, I mean, he's got no hyper armor, but even though there's a bit of latency, like, that's still, that's still not that bad. So, I figured that would be a safe thing to do, because if he did a regular R1, it would have hit him. If he did a uh, L2 R1, it would have hit him. If he would have done, you know, like, a running backwards into a regular R1, it still would have hit him. So, I figured it would have been safe. There, I blocked that attack for some stupid reason. I think he... No, he tried a running buffer there, I think. I don't know. I saw him blocking. I'm not sure what he did there. I just whiff a running attack like an idiot. That one actually hit me. Now he's buffering running our ones again. He does that a lot. It's a, it's a very smart thing to do to Washing Pole. Luckily, I win that trade. I get a counter hit and do 414 damage, which is pretty damn nice. So, yeah, well, Washing Pole battles are very scary. It's lots of running our ones. Lots of, um... Lots of extremely good spacing and knowing if you can just barely miss the running R1. That's the thing, though. It's so scary to, to outspace a washing pole running R1, especially if you're fighting someone from across the world like SK is to me. It's so scary to try to space it, so you end up having to roll away almost every time, and it becomes a lot of the same shit, so it's very hard to deal with. Here I'm using a washing pole against a glaive. Glaives are definitely hard to deal with, but um, that was kind of lucky on my end. Um... The only safe thing I can do against the Glaive is running our ones. I can't get in his face because he'll out hyper armor me. He outspeeds. Me. Well, he doesn't outspeed my attacks. Our attacks are about the exact same speed, so his hyper armor will absolutely make him win the trade no matter what. So I can't get in his face. I can't really roll backstab him because he attacks once, um, slightly pivots, and then R ones again. He usually doesn't chain multiple R ones in a row like that. He usually doesn't do that, so that's not very reliable either. Um, if he's roll if he's running into me and then our ones, I can try roll backstabbing, but again, it's very risky. Um, so really the safest thing to do is multiple running our ones. Like, see, I can, I can dodge it forever, but I can't get any offensive shit on him either, you know? That was a crazy range hit, but it's my fault. I should have, uh, double rolled there and I didn't, so I definitely deserve to get hit there. But yeah, sticking with the, uh... Oh god, sorry. Sticking with the running R ones is by far the safest way to deal with this shit. So he eventually gives that up, switches back to a washing pole, and we're right back to square one. Two good old washing pole duels. There, I think I tried swapping or yeah, I tried swapping to a spear. I wanted to see how this would counter him. And plus, I imagine you guys are sick of watching washing pole, so I thought I'd switch to a uh, gargoyle flame spear, which I'm not very good with yet. But I want to see how it works against a washing pole. Turns out it's okay. Um, you really need to predict the running R ones and hit them in the middle of the animation, which is extremely hard, especially with your latency because. The animation is like 10 frames long, so it's fucking really difficult. So, um, I'll say right now, this is not the most efficient thing to do. At all, actually. I would stick with the washing pole, but I figured you guys might have been getting bored. So, uh, I was like, fuck it, I'll try switching it up, I guess. But, uh, it's, it's definitely hard to deal with. Running R1s are kind of safe, but his running R1 into me will always interrupt me first, and he'll always get the attack off first. It's just much faster. Now, if he does running R1... I can R1 out of it and probably mash buttons, but it's very risky. I tried a rolling R1 there, but he sees it coming and rolls away. Definitely uh, definitely hard to get a attack actually in on him. Luckily, I hit him there. I think he, he tried to just outspace it, but again, he's from across the world. So he can't outspace me just as well as I can't outspace him like that. So that was uh, not a smart move by him either. There, I got roll catched pretty well. I got roll catched again. And uh, he just gets slightly out of range and has got like two health left. Now, this is terrifying. This is really terrifying because his attack comes out faster and we're both one hit from death. So it's going to come down to, I see, like right there, pure luck. Pure, pure luck. We both start our animations at basically the exact same time. By the time my animation has started on his screen, he's already begun his animation. So he can't get out of it. And it's just pure tenth of a second luck that I decided to attack then rather than, you know, a half a second later or something like that. So that is honestly, that came down to pure luck at the end. You cannot account for that. It's just, it's too fast. Too fast and too much latency, so. Now he's sticking with the Karthus, and I usually fight Karthus with Karthus since I'm very comfortable with the weapon, but I wanted to try using the washing pole against it um, just to see if it works. It seems like it works, like, I don't know, half the time, but it's very hard to deal with. Um, doing running our ones on them is even risky because if you don't immediately roll away, he gets out of the stun so quickly he can mash two our ones and just annihilate me, so. Plus, uh, latency like that there was another great example of how, uh, how high latency our fights are, I'd say. 
Like, where was it? Yeah, like, see how he gets his attack off on me and then he gets stunned? Like, right here. That's like, it's really hard to compete with that because even if I interrupt him first and hit him first, he still gets the swing and Karthus out trades me. So, it's very, very, very hard to deal with. That's what, uh,. Made him uh, so much harder to fight too, because he's extremely good with great swords, and his hyper armor starts earlier because hyper armor is dependent on what they see on their screen. So his hyper armor starts before I can actually see it, and that makes fighting it so much harder. So not only is he extremely good with great swords, but he's got hyper armor latency on his side too, which is even like it's so fucking hard to deal with. I don't I don't know how to do that. I'm just not good enough to deal with that shit. So. I don't really know what to do there. There, I was so fucking upset that I just cut myself. Like, what is this? What is that actual accurate hitboxes, man? <laughs> that pissed me off so much. Like, I would have gotten so much damage on him here, like right here. But then I miss him because he just walks slightly to the left. So that sucked. And then I was pretty fucked. He started hitting me so many times there. And I was like, got roll, roll, cat, roll caught. Why do I keep saying roll catched? Fucking idiot. So at that point, he got the advantage on me now. And that's scary because, I mean, the most I can do is just running R1 at this point. There's nothing else that's safe. See, even there, I did a running R1, and then he's just R1 out of it, and the stun was so short that he killed me. Like, it, I, I almost thought I didn't have time to roll there, but I actually had a fraction of a second. But, like, look at the transition from him being stunned to how quick he's attacking. That's like, what, 0.3 seconds or something like that? It's so fast. So, running R1s are so scary because all he has to do is just mash R1. And he will, uh, he will just outspeed me and outtrade me. So, very, very scary to deal with. And actually, I wasn't sure if I just failed to roll there. So, I actually tested it here. I did an R1 and s see if, like, I can actually roll away. And I could. Turns out I just decided not to roll for some reason. I don't know why. So, that was my fault. But the actual fight is here. So, he goes back to the Black Knight Glaive. And he does better with it now. Um, that I feel like that should have been a roll catch on me. He should have hit me there. I don't know why he didn't. Switches back to the Lothric Spear, which I still don't think is that great of a weapon. I don't know. I think the Flame Spear is a bit better, but I don't know. I haven't really used it much. I had a nice L2 R1 on him. Try outspacing them there again, but he rolls away, and I'm not really going to outspace it. So he switches back to a uh, a uh, Goddard's and Did I swap him? Holy shit. I'm impressing myself there. That's so fucking risky. I swapped during his rolling attack, which is like the fastest shit in the game. That made me slightly erect. I'm sorry. Anyway, I, I'm pretty sure I still lose this one regardless. Um, so I get a running R1 on him. He goes for a rolling or a running L1, which is not... I don't know. I don't think it's that effective. It's got very good range, but it can be interrupted any time during the animation. So um, even if he gets the first hit, it doesn't mean he'll get the second hit. So I got him half dead, and I just, I'm pretty sure I start fucking up really bad here. I forget exactly what I do, but uh, it's not good. So he switches back to a Karthus, and I figure, all right, let's have some Karthus battles. And... Um, I don't remember what happens here. Oh, let's just both both watch. See, right there, I should have attacked. Very stupid of me. See how he rolled into me like that, and then I rolled away? Awful idea. I should have attacked. Very stupid by me. But he might have just been able to roll away anyway, so. Two cards. This comes down to um, people starting running R1s. The person who uh, hits the running R1 first rolls away, and then the other guy tries to just mash R1 out of the running R1. It's, <laughs> it's very weird. But, uh... So he decides to go for the washing pole at the end, and I fuck up a swap. Cause I'm good at this game. Then he switches to Red Tier Stone, which I should probably add to my build. I don't know why I don't have it. I swapped, I swapped to Leo for the uh, for the the sick counters, even though I don't really need it anymore. One hit and he's dead regardless. I don't know why I did a charge or a regular R2 there. He doesn't really fall for that shit. I realized I didn't swap to Sun Princess that entire time, which is very stupid of me. Now we're both just scared to do running our ones because of that shit. And there, that was really good. Excellent spacing, so. Like that. You have to be very confident because I actually hit him, but that is perfect example of how to use uh, how to use his netcode and latency perfectly. Like you can see, my slash actually goes through him. Like that is through his face, and uh, it doesn't hit him because on his screen, it's it's just it it didn't sync up properly. So that was really really good. I hit a rolling R one out of there, and then that was like a photo finish. Like look at this shit, it's so cool. He does a rolling R1, which is faster than a regular R1, so I've got my shit in the air, just about to come down, but he just hits me a tenth of a second beforehand. Really fucking cool ending. GG. <laughs> you, knew, you knew that was fucking awesome, too. I really enjoyed that one. Next, we got... I think Washington Pole and Washington Pole again. I'm not sure. We'll see. 
Oh, here he, he randomly drops a washing pole. I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. This one's a bit shorter. I forget what happens. Either he wrecks me or I wreck him. I forget. That was very good spacing again. Just like so confident not having to roll. Very scary with latency, but I should have R1 twice there, but I thought he was going to stun me as well, so I queued up a roll, which is unfortunate because I shouldn't have done that. I do an R1 just to bait him into coming into range, but he doesn't take it. He switches to Karthus, now we just R1 each other a bunch of times, because Karthus... I fuck up a roll punish there. He switches to a Greatsword, and I know he can beat me when I'm using a Karthus when he's using a Greatsword, so I immediately swap back out. Too fucking hard to deal with. He tries an R2 there, which is not very smart. Now I've... I mean, as long as he sticks with the Greatsword, he's not going to beat a Washing Pole. It just loses to it almost every time. Assuming, you know, two equally skilled players, and SK is very good, so... I don't I don't think that was a smart transition, so he goes down pretty quick there. Um, and I'm pretty sure he just goes back to the uh, other shit in the next fights, because, uh... Definitely more effective. Even there, he was like, I shouldn't have done that, so... Completely understand. I wanted to kick him off the ledge there while he was typing to me, but I couldn't. Whoops. Alright. So this one, we're going back to Spear versus Washing Bowl. Basically, two Spears fighting each other. A lot of pokes, a lot of boring shit, but... Only way to do it. He swaps his life ring. I fuck up a lot of running our ones here like that. And then I panic roll a lot too. I play very badly in this fight. That was a bad roll uh, roll catch attempt as well. He was way too far away. I do a lot of things in this fight that are just not very smart or make no real sense. So I think I lose this one. If so, I deserve it. Because he definitely outplays me here. I just keep missing really easy uh, R1s. I'm slowly realizing that uh, rolling attacks with this thing are actually pretty decent. They do kind of low damage, but as long as I don't have a parrying tool out, it comes out really fast and lets me maintain uh, forward forward aggression. So, I need to use those more, I think. I'm just scared because, like, I just translate rolling attacks into, like, the get parried tool. So, I need to get that out of my head. Again, perfect spacing. Just so confident. Like, look at this shit. Come on, look at that. That is, like, come on, that's Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon shit right there. So confident in his spacing. Tried a rolling R1 there, but he, he learned very quickly and it didn't work anymore, so. Tried a running R1, but I started it too late, so I just ate a hit. Deserved it. There was kind of weird. I did a running R1 past him, which is a stupid choice, but. Yeah, I guess that's just latency. Like, I was behind him and he swung in front of me and he still hit me. That's just, nah, it's just from Europe, so. That, that's gonna happen. That was a nice uh, R2 at the end there. R2's tracked pretty well. I start mashing R1, trying to get him in the uh, combo. See, even right there, I hit him from, from so far away. Like, that, this hit right here. That was silly. That I should not have hit him. So we're getting a lot of horseshit hits on each other. That's why I hate high latency duels, because it doesn't matter how good both players are. Like, silly shit happens and just break the mechanics of the game. It sucks. But, unfortunately, not every good player is from America, so... Gotta deal with this. To be fair, it's equal on both sides, though, so... Just, again, very, very confident in his spacing. It's gotten him hit a few times, but it's also gotten him to just slightly walk away from my attacks a few times, too. There, I, w I tried to interrupt his attack, but I guess... Oh, he roll poised. Yeah, see, that that fucked me up. I tried swinging again because I knew I was going to hit him, but he didn't get stunned while he was rolling. And then he just attacked, so that sucked. I don't really know how to account for that shit. That roll poise thing seems very inconsistent. I don't know. I get That's just like a really... Uh, it's definitely a wild card. I, didn't, I don't really know what the fuck to do there. So, that's why I did another R1 out of it, but I ended up eating it in the face. This point, we're just going to get into the staggered R1 spree. I try a rolling attack, but he rolls away. I try another one, but the R1 halberd comes down so fast, and because his animations are starting before I can see them, the hyper armor starts so quick, and I just end up taking a hit to the face. It's really like a 50-50 shot when it comes down to a, a, a Karthus and Washing Pole versus a Black Knight Glaive. It's like a 50-50 shot. But, uh, I try running R1 there, and I try to R1 out of it, but his hyper armor's already started, and he kills me. Let's see. Yeah, see? That's the thing. Hyper armor is supposed to start, like, when he's on the on the downswing. So, let's see. It's supposed to start when he's on the downswing, but I've hit him here. Right there. He hasn't even started his attack animation yet. And then I, my animation's going through his body right now. Then he starts, but because on his screen he has started his animation yet, he still has hyper armor, and then he still kills me. So that shit's very hard to deal with. But um, not to say he's not an extremely good player. He's SK is definitely, like, he's the best greatsword uh, user I've ever fought. So we always have really good fights, and today was no exception. So thanks for the fights, man. SK does not have any uh, YouTube or Twitch 
channels or anything like that that he wants linked. So um, that will be it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Take it easy.